Hi, Neil. Hi, Jamie. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? A little, little tired. A little tired. Understandable. Yeah. So I hear you're going to the University of Lethbridge. Yes. What are you taking? I am taking psychology. Um, so I got accepted late. My goal was to go into nursing, but that wasn't my path, I guess. <laughs> so I went into psychology, so that's a four-year program. Um, and then hopefully with that degree, I want to go into counseling, maybe. I'm not sure, like addicts or addictions, I guess it's called. Um, or do a two-year two RN program to go in nursing, which is kind of like a fast-track program. Okay. What interests you about nursing to start off with? Well, I just, I always want to help people, but I didn't want to become a teacher and teach little kids and deal with teenagers and all their issues. <laughs> I didn't want to go through that, so it was kind of like medical field and my mom's kind of in the medical field, and now my sister's doing her master's in psychology, so it's kind of like, let's do something, and I really wanted to go into pediatrics and work with little kids and make them feel better. It's so, so sad. <laughs> do you only have one sister, or? Yeah, I only have one yeah. sister. She's four years older than me. Okay. Yeah. Do you think she's influenced you a lot in the way you're, kind of the path you're taking now? Yeah, definitely. Um, she's... She's four years older than me, but she also is disabled, so she has CP, so that's cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. So I feel, being her younger sister, I've watched her like overcome a lot of things, people staring at her, people judging her, because when people hear that there's a disability, they think mental usually, not physical, and like she's probably one of the smartest people I know. Like she had, she took five, five years to do her degree, but she had four and a half all paid by scholarships, which was like, yeah. That's so I have a little pressure about that <laughs> with my family, but it's not it's not too bad. I love it, and I love her, and she's definitely a huge influence on me and, like, pushes me to my limits, and, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. So after Lethbridge, do you plan to move back to Calgary, or do you have a city that you would rather be in, working? Um, I hope to move back to Calgary or like stay close to my family like they've helped me a lot through the years so I want to be close to them but with my career or like Matt's career I guess depends where we go and where it takes us I guess. Yeah. So studying psychology you must find Matt like a pretty interesting <laughs> subject. <laughs> <laughs> Bit. I'm not too far into it. Um, like as I said before, I got accepted late, so I couldn't get into lots of the classes that I wanted to take. So I'm only taking the basic Psych 1000 concepts. So you learn a little bit about how crazy people are and yeah. kind of what goes on in their mind. And yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. How is uh, life at university in college or in in Lethbridge like? Um, it was it was really hard to start with. I had like I was so I was that girl in high school that like made friends easy, like had friends all over the place with my sports and school and dance. And so coming here and all these big classes, it was like you sat beside a different person all the time. And then I had Matt who is with the same people every class. You every class every day like had friends instantly, so it was it was really hard for me that way because I saw him like so happy, and then there's me. I was like miserable. I didn't want to be here. I wanted to be at home. I just I was like, no, I'm done. Like next term, like I'm going home. But then eventually you start meeting people. You start hanging out with them. You sit beside them every class. Like you make those connections and those friendships that I think will last me forever. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, what sports did you play in high school? Um, so, I played volleyball and soccer. I played volleyball in like junior high and high school for grade 10. But then outside of school, I did soccer for, I think it was seven, eight years. And then before that, when I was a little girl, I did dance for 12, yeah, 12 years. I guess if my, they overlapped, I overlapped in sports. But, no, it was fun, I loved it. Does the university have intramural volleyball? Yes, they do. Would you be interested in playing that? Yes. I, I really wanted to go into intramurals and do like soccer and volleyball. But then, I don't know, I just, I, I think I backed out 
because I was like, oh, I don't know anyone. And like the one person that I did know, she's like, well, I don't really want to do it. And I was like, oh, okay, like, never mind. I guess I won't do it. But I think next year I, I will definitely, definitely will do that. We're good there, too.